Well, Steve and the CBS 6 Weather Authority team have had their work cut out for them this month, tracking severe weather, bringing us a lot of rain. And heat, as you can see in that graphic right there. Tonight, mm -hmm. meteorologist Sam Copeland reports on another weather extreme heading our way that will have you cracking up the AC. It seems like practically every day now we're talking about more and more weather extremes. The latest snatching the headlines is the baking heat smashing all sorts of records across the southwest, a piece of which looks to bring us some of our hottest temperatures of the season by the end of the week. 25. That's how many days in a row Phoenix's temperature has soared above 110. This shatters the previous record of 18 straight days. It was also Phoenix that last week dropped only to 97 degrees, which set an all-time record for the warmest low temperature. Meanwhile, El Paso has had 100-plus degree highs for now 40 straight days. This blew out of the water the previous streak, which was only 23 days. While sweltering summer days are nothing new, this season's heat dome is clearly at a different level. All you need to do is look at the facts. If you look at how the world has warmed since the pre-industrial times, there is no other way to explain the signals other than with including, with including the greenhouse gas emissions that we've been putting into the atmosphere since the industrial revolution began. Even in the heat acclimated Southwest, this heat wave is taking its toll, like in New Mexico, where they are on track to break their record for heat related hospital visits. In fact, Heat is by far the number one cause of weather fatalities on average because of its prolonged and wide-reaching impacts in comparison to the more localized extreme types of weather. While it will pale in comparison to what they're experiencing over the southwest, this heat dome looks to expand eastward this week, delivering to many of us across the northeast the warmest numbers this year to date into the 90s with feels-like readings approaching the triple digits. Now, while we look to heat up around the capital region to end this week, a much more refreshing air mass looks to settle in by the second half of the weekend. And for those out west, the heat dome looks to weaken, at least temporarily, by next week. I'm Sam Copland reporting.